These are a symbol of hope and peace in Ukraine. And people around the world have been using sunflowers to express solidarity with Ukrainians. But in recent weeks, the sunflower has come to represent something else too. Surging food prices due to Russia's violent invasion. Here's why. Sunflower oil is in all kinds of stuff that you probably have in your kitchen. Margarine, mayo, pesto, breads, chips, and so much more. The oil is popular because it has a mild flavor and a high smoke point. It's made from sunflower seeds, which come from this part of the flower. Now, these are just decorative, but the National Sunflower Association told me that those big flowers you see in sunflower fields can have 1,000 to 2,000 sunflower seeds per head. Sunflower oil producers remove the seeds from their shells, crush them, and extract the oil. Ukraine normally accounts for nearly half of the world's sunflower oil exports, according to research firm Mintech. But because of the war, shipments have ground to a halt. Colonel, a major producer in Ukraine, told me that until the war is over, there's very little chance they'll even achieve 30% of what they were exporting before the war. Now, there's a global shortage of sunflower oil, and that has triggered a domino effect. My colleague Sabara Chowdhury covers the consumer goods industry for the Wall Street Journal. She says food companies have been scrambling to find replacements for sunflower oil, like rapeseed oil, also known as canola. It's interesting, so sunflower oil is in short supply, but rapeseed, which is a totally different oil, um, is also now running out, and the prices of rapeseed have actually gone up 72%. Companies have also looked to other cooking oils as substitutes, sending the prices of those oils surging too. In March, prices of sunflower, rapeseed, soy, and palm oils hit record highs. Even the price of olive oil, which is generally considered too expensive and niche to substitute for sunflower oil, was up 15% from last year. But just Substituting oils isn't that simple for companies. For example, soy oil raises the risk of allergies and concerns about genetically modified ingredients. You have to sort of like create all these new labels, maybe get new regulatory approval to say, yes, it's okay to put these new products in. Hmm. It's a lot, lot of twists and turns to all this. As cooking oils get more expensive, food companies are considering raising the prices of their products if they haven't done so already. Which parts of the world will be affected the most? everybody's going to be impacted. And what's really tricky is it's hard to narrow this down because there's such a knock-on effect. But that being said, obviously places where people's incomes are really squeezed, I think in emerging markets without a doubt. In Turkey, a sharp increase in sunflower oil prices sparked panic buying. And in Iraq, street protesters have called themselves the revolution of the starving. Keep in mind, this cooking oil crunch comes on top of food inflation that was already high before the war. And it's playing out alongside a wheat shortage since Russia and Ukraine aren't exporting as much grain as they normally do. As demand for sunflower oil remains high, farmers in the US and in other parts of the world are expected to plant more sunflowers this year. In the US, the planting season happens around May. And the National Sunflower Association told me it expects about a 20% increase in plantings. But whatever is grown here in the U.S. will only meet a fraction of global demand. And experts say there simply isn't enough sunflower oil in the world to make up for the shortfall caused by the war in Ukraine. While the sunflower represents hope and peace in Ukraine, the Russian government has been using a black and orange striped Z to represent pro-war sentiment in Russia. Check out this video to learn more about that. And if you like this piece, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more stories like this. I'll see you next time.